demand for STEM jobs has increased dramatically, and the growth of advanced manufacturing, biosciences, healthcare, other industries where STEM skills are really valued and are really important to their success in the United States has made this even more urgent. Skills development in the STEM fields, but in also related fields, is critically important. So community colleges are a big part of that. A lot of these jobs are going to be in middle skill jobs. You don't have to have a PhD or a master's or even a bachelor's degree in order to be able to succeed. In fact, the Brookings Institution just put out a report that says that half of STEM jobs are not going to require a bachelor's degree, and yet they're going to have an average salary of about $53,000 a year. That's a good middle class job. Now, I want people to go and get bachelor's degrees, but if you can start with a certificate or a credential or even an associate's from a community college, get out in the workforce, get some experience, and then figure out how to climb the career ladder by going and getting a bachelor's and maybe a master's and maybe a PhD, that's a terrific way to start your career and it gives you some stability in a middle class life. And I've heard that stacking is a way that people are definitely going about their education these days and uh, a little bit more cost efficient as well. Absolutely. Stackability and career ladders or career lattices, those are the buzzwords that we need to focus on is we don't need you to get to your last job as your first job. Mm -hmm. Your first job can really be your first job and you can go and get more skills, more knowledge, more education along the way while you're earning money to help you afford getting this education.